finish his business. Talking that bread, let me go on here, make a sentence. When it's time to do work, let me extend the hammer. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jones in 4K, bringing you guys another Forza Horizon 5 Drift Tune and Build video. Today we got the FD Mazda RX-7. We're gonna get into the build, we're gonna get into the tune, and we're gonna take it down the mountain to see if we can put up a million points. I do apologize about not getting a midweek video out for you guys. We've had a lot going on with the kids out of school and whatnot. It's summertime, so we've been busy. But I promise you guys, I'm going to keep the videos coming as quickly as I can and as often as I can. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. All right, guys, dive right into the build of the car. For the conversion, only because I wanted more power, I went with the 2.64 rotor. Uh, left the car rear wheel drive. And then we put the TCP Magic Wide Body Kit on the car, which looks really good. This one's okay, but it don't have a rear bumper. And I think it looks kind of, I don't know. Like it, it, it looks good, but it, in a way it kind of looks weird. So we just went with this one. For the clutch, we have a race clutch. We have the race transmission. We have a race, we have the, we have the street drive line and we have the drift differential. On the platform and handling, we have the race brakes, drift springs and dampers. We have the race front and rear roll bars. We have a roll cage and we have the race, race weight reduction. On the arrow and appearance, I went with the TCP Magic Rear Wing to go with the body kit. Like I, I would have went with a duck bill, but it doesn't suit this. It doesn't suit this body kit well at all. So we went with the big wing. For tires and rims, we have the drift tire compound. We have a 265 in the front, a 275 in the rear, and we have 18s in the front and the rear of the car. Unfortunately, you can't change the track width of the car, but I mean the stance looks good. For the wheels, we have the. Specialized, I believe. We have the multi piece rim style. And we have the work back label Z BST ones. These cars look really good. And then under the engine, we went with the no restrictor plate, which takes it from 690 to 718 horsepower. And for the tuner of the car, we have 33 front pressure, 24 rear pressure. For the gear ratio, we have a 373 final drive, a 288 first gear, a 190 second gear, a 150 third gear, a 142 fourth gear, a 131 fifth gear, and a 126 gear. For the alignment, we're running negative five degrees front camber, negative 0.5 degrees rear camber. For the tow, we're running positive 0.6 tow out. And on the tow in the rear, we're running negative 0.2 degrees tow in and in the rear. For the front caster angle, we're running three degrees. For the roll bars, we're running 24.5 in the front, 9.8 in the rear. And for the springs, we're running 1,120 in the front, 448 uh, rear spring in the back. And then for the ride height, I made the car level at 6969. For the dampening, we're running 10.7 front rebound, 8.4 rear rebound. And then for the bump stiffness, we have a 3.4 and 2.9 rear rebound, uh, bump stiffness, sorry. For the arrow, I lowered it down as far as I can and then kind of made it like either in, end of the zero or five. So we have 130 front and then 195 rear downforce. For the brake, we have 80% balance, 65% pressure. And then for the differential, we have 93% acceleration, 19% deceleration. All right, guys, so we're gonna take the car out right now. I'm just gonna do a couple figure eights to get warmed up. Uh, I know you guys see my GPU percentage and usage in the top right corner. I've been having some issues, so I just wanted to, I wanna keep an eye on it and see what's going on here. With the with the load of recording and making videos and whatnot, I've been having some, I've been having some issues, so I just wanna see what's going on. But I mean, right now we're doing pretty good. 
gonna hit a couple figure eights here, get warmed up. So let you guys see, let you guys see the potential of the car. As you guys can see, the car loves to slide out real well. Control slide. Get some nice figure eights out here at the Horizon Festival. All right, guys, let's take it to the mountain. See if we can put up a million points. I mean, I don't, I don't think we would have a problem because this car actually drives better than most cars that I've driven like here recently. And I don't know if it's because it's a wide body RX-7, but if you guys can't tell, like if you haven't noticed, like this is on a, this ain't on no massive tire. You know, it doesn't have a lot of horsepower and this is probably one of the lightest wheels and tunes that I've done in a while, so. I think we're gonna take it down the hill. We're just gonna let it, let it fly. Let, let the action speak for itself. I will say that I, I definitely tune the gears to where you can use multiple gears if you need to. Uh, that way we have, you have six, you have at least five usable gears. Six gears is just to get a little bit more top, top end speed. somebody asked me why do I come down the mountain so fast I, I mean honestly I, I really don't know I just I don't know I just want to drive it like I don't want to go grandma slow down the mountain I just want to hit the mountain you know what I mean it didn't go I mean am I losing points by going so fast eh probably but I mean I mean it, it is what it is you guys you guys are here for the build you guys are here for the tune that's what I want to provide for you guys. Show you guys, like I don't, I don't build these cars specifically for the mountain. Like I did test this car. I did a lot of, uh, I did a lot of uh, tandem testing with this car, and I just wanted to make sure, you know, make sure my cars, you know, when I when I give you guys these tunes, make sure my cars are still tuned to where they can tandem. I don't want, I don't want to build no just. Oh, well, this car is built for a points drifting. Like, you should be able to take, you know, I want to be able to give you guys cars that you can take out, take out to the mountain, you know, put up your million points, get your three stars, and then, you know, go go tandem with your buddies. And that's all That's all I want to do for you guys. That's, that's how I want my cars to feel for you guys. I mean, this, this car, this car does it. This car is crazy. There's another one, another with a milli down. This car is nice. I'm actually gonna try to get a paint on this car. I'm try to get a paint on this car and uh, try to get some decals on it so they don't look so plain Jane. But it's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below if you guys wanna see me build any other cars and subscribe to the channel as it do help me grow. And I do appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next one.